have always asked him to rate his satisfaction out of 10. So when a man on the street rates you whistle out of 10, take it as a compliment. When a man on a Dallas street rates you raspberry noise out of 10, take it as a compliment. I know you wore that outfit for yourself, but men designed clothes for men they wanted to wear and clothes for women they wanted to look at. That's why you don't have pockets. They ruin the lines of your body on the way to his cock. You are an object for his perusal. How did he rate your product? Oh, he said you're just a pussy? Don't you know that's the worst thing a man can call another man a vagina is an insult. Absolute zero out of 10. Never mind that each time a man's life was brought into this world, a person's pussy was on the line. He's lucky it was strong enough that he survived. I'll just give it to you straight. You can't go outside. How is he supposed to exercise control when you were made in his image and everything looks beautiful again when he reflects on himself? When he covets you, he doesn't mind breaking one commandment out of 10. Now I know not all men, but if someone gave you a gun to play Russian roulette, would you pull the trigger? It's only one out of six, not even two out of ten. You think he wouldn't bother you if you only looked like a two out of ten? I look in the mirror and I rate myself seven out of ten. I'm a realist. I lack a curve in my lips and there's a flatness in my hips. Hips. I can't see the last three digits. Those three digits are three survivors out of 10. After it happens, a doctor asks you to rate your pain out of 10. You minimize and compromise until you can say, I don't want to be here. Four and a half thoughts out of five, which is to say nine. I don't want to admit that there's not something worse than this, but that gun to my head is starting to look like I pulled the trigger, not just once, but six times.